This is a demonstration of an abnormal engine start. Start engine 2. Continue the start sequence. The start valve opens. N2 increases. You hear the single chime and see the master caution light. Extinguish the master caution light. The B system igniter has failed. The caution is activated and the amber warning and associated checklist are displayed on the engine warning display. Read the title of the failure. On the engine panel, the fault light eliminates amber, indicating that the automatic start is aborted. The full authority digital engine control automatically shuts off the fuel, de-energizes the ignition, and closes the start valve. The message Auto Crank in Progress is displayed on the engine warning display, indicating that the full authority digital engine control automatically performs a dry crank. The auto crank cycle is complete. The message on the engine warning display asks you to confirm the automatic start abort. Perform ECAM action. When the engine master switch is placed off, the ECAM message disappears and the fault light on the engine panel extinguishes. ECAM complete, screens normal. Because auto starts use alternating ignition systems, the engine can be started by executing another auto start. On this attempt, the A ignition system will be active. Other abnormal starts include hot start, hung start, no in one indication. In all cases, the procedure is the same. The full authority digital engine control aborts the start and automatically motors the engine to purge fuel and to cool the engine down. Should a failure degrade an EPR system, the engine will automatically downgrade to the N1 mode. Usually, the downgrade will be to the rated N1 mode, in which case the full authority digital engine control will still provide protection for the engine. If the failure is severe enough, the engine will downgrade to the unrated N1 mode. In this case, the full authority digital engine control provides no protection. The following example will show a downgrade to the rated N1 mode. The amber warning and associated checklist are displayed on the engine warning display. Read the title of the failure. When EPR is lost, the auto thrust is disconnected. The EPR indicator is amber and the value is crossed amber, showing that EPR 1 mode is lost. The actual N1 is shown both numerically and by the needle in green. The needle and the numeric value pulse amber when N1 is greater than the N1 rating limit. They pulse red when N1 is greater than 100%. The white circle indicates the thrust lever position. This white circle is not displayed in the unrated mode. The amber index indicates the full forward position of the thrust lever, max N1. Max N1 is not displayed in unrated mode. Perform ECAM action. Press the number one engine N1 mode switch.
On the engine panel, the number one engine N1 mode switch changes to on in blue. Continue ECAM action. Press the number two engine N1 mode switch. Engine number two EPR indication turns amber, indicating that the engine has been forced into the N1 mode. Even if only one engine has degraded, both engines must be operated in the N1 mode. The N1 indications are now the same for both engines. The EPR limit mode is replaced by a specific N1 limit mode box, showing clearly that the engines are controlled in the N1 mode. In the unrated mode, the N1 mode and N1 limit mode are crossed amber. The next action is to adjust the thrust. Assume this has been done. ECAM complete screens normal. On engine 2, EGT value is increasing. The EGT continues to increase. Above the normal range, the indication turns amber and flashes. The amber caution and the associated checklist are displayed on the engine warning display. The temperature has continued increasing. On the EGT indicator, the indications have turned flashing red. The ECAM requires the thrust lever to be retarded. We will do this for you. The EGT indication finally changes from red to green. ECAM actions completed. A red strip appears at the max reached value. It will disappear after a new takeoff or a maintenance action. A similar indication will be displayed in case of N1 or N2 over limit. For N1, the indications pulse red, and for N2, a red cross is displayed beside the indicated value, which turns red. The aircraft is in cruise. The ECAM engine page has been displayed for you. The number one engine oil pressure indicator is amber, because the oil pressure is below the normal range. The situation has now degraded to a level 3 warning. The red warning and associated checklist are displayed on the engine warning display. On the system display, the ECAM engine page is automatically displayed. The number one engine oil pressure indicator is now shown in red. ECAM requires the engine to be shut down. Notice the new memo requiring an immediate landing. The amber warning and associated checklist are displayed on the engine warning display. Notice that we are operating in very cold weather. Observe the oil temperature is still displayed in green. ECAM requires that takeoff be delayed in order to warm up the engine. Should the oil temperature be above the normal range, the temperature indication will pulse green. If the oil temperature continues to increase and ECAM caution is activated above 165 degrees Celsius, and the oil temperature indication becomes amber.
Nacelle temperature is normally not shown on the ECAM engine page unless one or both temperatures become abnormal. When displayed, the nacelle temperature, which is faulty, will pulse green. The amber warning, Engine 1 oil filter clog, is displayed on the engine warning display. The ECAM engine page is automatically displayed. The white oil filter indication and the corresponding amber clog are both displayed on the ECAM page. Note that this is a level 1 failure. The master caution does not illuminate nor does the single chime sound. Again, this is a level 1 failure. The master caution does not illuminate, nor does the single chime sound. The amber caution is displayed on the engine warning display as an advisory. On the engine ECAM page, the white fuel filter indication and the corresponding amber clog are both displayed.